This is a story of these two best friends, Krishna and Sudama. And they were both young friends. They were going to a Gurukula, the hermitage of a sage, where they were both learning the ancient esoteric teachings. Now many of you know, Sudama is a very, very poor Brahmana. Brahmanas are considered to be very, very austere. They don't have material possessions. And his friend, his name is Krishna. So they're friends and they're going to school together. Many, many years down the road, Krishna becomes the king of Dwarka and Sudama remains a poor Brahmana in a village called Avanti. And there he was so poor materially that there is no walls to his house. He's so happy and content because he is rejoicing in the happiness that he is feeling within his heart. But his wife was saying, My dear husband, can you please go and see your friend? He is the king of Dwarka, this powerful kingdom. He is a king there, so can you please go and see him? Her intention was that if you see your friend and he sees you in this condition, then he will be compassionate and sympathetic and he will give you some material opulence. So he agreed after a lot of persistence from her, he agreed. So when this young Brahmana, he reached the entrance, the gate of Dwarka, he was so frail looking that the guards wanted to kind of shoo him away. Like, what are you doing here? You don't fit into this kingdom. You know? So he said, no, I came to see Krishna. He is my childhood friend. So immediately the guards were so unbelievably shocked that this skinny, frail, scruffy looking Brahmana was the friend of the king of Dwarka. So when they went and they informed Krishna, childhood friend Sudama has come to see you and he's at the gate. Then Krishna ran down from his, his throne that he was sitting in, in the courthouse. And the first thing he did is he put his friend on the throne and he washed the feet of his friend because his friend walked so far to come and see him. Krishna is showing by his own example that his friend, this deep connection they had, that he's ready to go down and he washes the feet of his friend along with his queens and he massages the feet of his friend. So what this story depicts is how this relationship of Pada Sevanam is reciprocal this deep connection, there is no boundaries of materialism of any sort because it is simply a deep connection of love from within the heart.